Now here we have it right here. And it shows us all the settings. So, let's go back. Now that we have that set up, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the server. Hold on a second. And we're going to make sure that Echo VNC server is running. So to do this, you're going to go on your server, of course. Here, let's go to this for now. And go start all programs. Then you're going to find Echo VNC. Now, mine has a little tree icon right there, but that's only because I set it like that. Normally, it's just a plain old folder icon, so don't get worried about that. So what you're going to do is you're going to start running Echo VNC server. Now, if you're not going to physically actually use this computer and connect a monitor to it after you're done with all this, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have Echo VNC Server Edition running at startup. So, do that. Well, first of all, we want to type in a password so that if anybody tries to connect to us, they won't be able to and take control of our computer. So we want a password that only we know. Now, we're just going to call it Bob for now. But I'm not going to use that, of course, because this isn't my server. So, you're going to set up the password, everything, click OK. See, and it gave me an error message because I didn't put in a password. And it won't let me do that. So I have to just type in something. So I'll just do Bob. <clears throat> so, we might have to unblock a couple of things for our firewalls. Now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to Start Menu and go to Startup. And of course, this is on your server now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find a CoVNC Server Edition. And then you're going to copy it. And then you're going to paste a shortcut into your Startup folder. Okay? Now. And that will start the program at Startup. I just deleted that because this isn't my server, of course. I've said that already. Um, let's see here. Now, once Echo VNC Server Edition is run running, you're going to click on the little E button in the taskbar, right? So, and hold on a second. I'm going to double click that, and you're going to get that up. And then, of course, you're going to type in the password and everything just reminding you to do that and that should be it for now now all we have to do now is to connect what we're going to have to do is we're going to go start all programs echo vnc echo vnc viewer now my server is called r450.ath.cx so that's what i would type into there but that's already there because it saves it now we're going to click ok not check anything. What you're going to do is you're going to type in the password that you just entered into your server. Now this is on your main computer. So, I'm typing in my password. And then here we have it, right here. So, that's about it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it's been a lot of help and that's how you do it. And then what you can do is you can do anything you want on your server now you can go control your printers and faxes and do all sorts of stuff and another cool feature of this is that um, hold on a second again another cool feature of this is that you can share files and there's all sorts of things that you can do up here you can reboot it from here you can open a chat window with both of them that's if somebody else is using that you can and this is the coolest thing. You can do a file transfer, and here's all the stuff on my server and all the stuff on my computer. So I can transfer anything I want. So I think that's a really good feature there. And that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can check out our website at http colon slash slash computer tips and tricks dot co dot nr or by going to applegeeks dot .net. Thank you. Goodbye.